Shalom Israel. Shalom, Israel. Uh, okay. First and foremost, I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goes. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a quick hitter, man. And it's kind of weird because the Lord. Lord bless me with the, the new camera that I needed as well. So this camera is looking like it's just weird, man, the way it's pointing down. So we're just going to go in the spirit and uh, hopefully the audio is okay and all that stuff. We're going to bring out just a few scriptures here because uh, as you can see, um, we're getting ready for the Passover. It starts tonight. Um... And also, so today is also the, um, the Sabbath day as well, so we can't cook, the, I'm not cooking the Passover until uh, the sun goes down, so I'm not going to even cook the Passover until after I come back from camp. Uh, and i got to go back to work now, so I won't be able to get off, I won't be getting off work until after dark anyway, so. Um, but it all works out. The reason why I'm doing this video is uh, because as I was getting all the living out of the house, I, it, it became uh, clear, understood uh, the word even a little bit more, you know, uh, about what's going, you know, about just the whole thing of it, of uh, cleared out the leaven, and uh, we're going to get into some strips, to, uh, because look, the, the, a man should know what's, what's going on in this household, so therefore, you know, at this particular time, you you, you leave getting, going through everything, man, going through everything and clearing, cleaning house, basically. So that's what's going on there. We're cleaning the house. Some of this stuff I may not even bring back in here. As you see, it's a lot of stuff. And I got a, a whole trash bag full of full of things that are going to go straight to the garbage. So I appreciate that. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. Let's bring out some of these scriptures. First, going to go to uh, Exodus chapter 13, verse 6. It says, Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and then the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. Okay, and that's what's going to start tonight. And throughout those seven days until the 14th of this month, we're going to be uh, uh, enjoying the Feast of Unleavened Bread, okay? Now, yesterday, I had a, I had a, a little small just comment. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't debate with the dude. I didn't argue with the dude. But he... <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Look, I want, this is why I wanted to name this. I wanted to name this epistle, I See Dead People, okay? Everywhere we go, we see dead people, man. Alright, because this dude doesn't even know he's falling out of the truth, right? He used to be on the highways and byways, preaching the word, but now he don't do that no more. Alright? Uh, he, he don't know what's going on uh, in, the, in the congregation. He's not a part of the body of, of Great Millstone, of course. Uh, he actually started trying to talk bad about the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Talking about how they changed their mind about certain things and all that stuff. You know, trying to uh, plant uh, a seed of... Um, what, what, what would you call it? Uh, like disbelief, right? But hey, I told him, I said, I said, uh, hopefully like the 144, uh, the scriptures say they, can, they will not be deceived, man. So, you know, that's why we believe uh, that the elders apostles through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has 100% truth, okay? And just because he don't feel out the truth, you know, don't come around me with that stuff because he's trying to argue down, about, number one, about the Sabbath day. He's still all up and all around about the Sabbath day. Number two, and I already had the conversation with the dude a couple of, I didn't want to talk to him, but he going to come up to me, but, you know, instead of me blowing up on him or, or cursing him out or whatever, you know, you know, go ahead, man, talk, talk it, man, and I just correct, kept correcting him, but he, he, he just, you know, can't hear. Um, so, and then he want to talk, say that today, not, today, not the beginning of the, of the, <laughs> today's not the beginning of the, of the, uh, of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It's not the, the beginning of the Passover. And uh, I said, but you know what, man? I don't care what you, I don't care what you're doing. This is what we're doing. We're over here at Great Millstone. So, hey, you can have it your way, man. 
Because he don't even know about one body in your house. He don't know about uh, ISUPK talking about John Baptist. Because he's not in it. He's not in the true man. He out here doing I don't even know what the hell he's doing. So, you know, that's just a, and that's why this, that's why this epistle is called I See Dead People. Not only do we see dead people of, 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 the, of, the, of the people that know that they're Israelites, but also the, the rest of the Israelites, all Israel is not Israel. Dead people, the valley of dry bones. We see them all day long. Then the people don't fall out the truth again, back again. Okay? It says, uh, so this is Exodus 13 and 7. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and then and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And that's why on these particular on this on this day, on these holy days, we have removed the leaven out of our homes. And thou shalt show thy sons in thy day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord Yahweh Shai did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand for for a memorial between thine eyes that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's law may be in thy mouth. For with the strong hand hath Yahweh Hashem Yahushai brought thee out of Egypt, man. See, and this is a this is also this is to. Give, give Yahweh Hashem Yahushua praise and the water for choosing us to be the children of Israel, giving us the chastening and saving us out of the hand of bondage so long ago, and for uh, saving us again in the future that He's about to do for us right now. Okay, and this is our part of our works and us having faith in Him to actually uh, participate in this holy day uh, and to and to do the very best we can to observe. Uh, his laws, statutes, and commandments that he put forward to us. Okay? Um, yeah, man, because, hey, this is it. This is this is it. And this scripture right here, we're going to go to Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where, wherewith Yahweh Shai has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So the Lord doesn't come and die for our, for our sins, right? So we don't go back into the world and start participating like he didn't do he didn't do that for us we're going to continue forth um and 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 show forth of uh, faith by trying to do the laws and commandments to the best of our abilities knowing that we we were, we were filthy rags and we couldn't do them anyway that's why he had to come and die for us it's it says behold i paul said to you that if ye be circumcised yahweh shall profit you nothing for I, and this goes to the uh to the, Old to the Old Testament uh, Israelites and then those over-righteous Israelites. The Old Testament only Israelites, should I say. And the over-righteous Israelites that think they know every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no man to be over them unless it's General Yohanna, of course. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is not a joke. Okay, for I testify again. This is verse five, 3. So it's uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 3. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Exactly. So, the the Old Testament uh, only Israelites and those over righteous Israelites are talking about they're going to be justified by the law because no, you're not. It's faith, okay? Because the Lord died for us, but you have to believe that the Lord died for us and that He's covering you with the blood of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, with the blood of Yahweh Shai. See, and then uh, by showing, uh, by having faith, you're going to do the very best you can to. to uh, Try to do the law and, and do what he actually say by uh, preaching the word and, and, you know, turn away from this wicked world. Okay? It says, For I testify to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to the whole law. Yahweh Shai has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. That's right, because we are in the grace right now, because the Lord died for our sins. So, if you're trying to justify yourself by doing the law and all that stuff, you... Psh, Basically on. It says, For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Uh huh. And love is spreading this gospel, man. Ye did run well, who did hinder you, that ye shall not obey the truth. And and, and they're not obeying the truth through the 100% uh, truth, through the elders and apostles of Great Millstone as well. Through the through the gospel, man, because you, you you just don't turn back. You 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 
You're leaning on your own understanding, just like the dude I was talking about, all over the damn place, instead of coming to the body, huh, on the one accord, hmm, you did well, run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Who done told you, hey, go on about your own way, uh, follow that, that man over there, but not, don't follow the word, follow that man over there, General Hunter, or, or uh, Nate Dog over here, who's going to lead you astray, man. It says, this uh, persuasion coming not of him that calleth you, a little, little leaven leaven the whole lump. Yeah, this persuasion did not come from your house. He called you out of darkness to this marvelous light, man. From there, you learn the truth. Stick with the truth. Okay? Don't don't have no issue ears. All right? It said a little leaven leaven up the whole lump, and that's what that's what this that's what this is all about as well. Get it's time to clean house, man. Examine yourselves. He says. I have confidence in you through the through Yahweh Shimei Al Shai that ye be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. So all the motherfuckers, all the people out there running around uh, scattering the sheep, you gotta be in trouble, man. It says, and I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross sealed. I would then were even cut off which troubled you, for brethren. Ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. That's right. We serve one another. And uh, that was a brother that uh, had a video about, uh, had, uh, you know, brought up ISUPK again today. A uh, video about General Yohanna trying to tell the men to worship him or something, something to that effect. Seriously, man. It was really fucked up. Um... If I can find that video, I'll put it on the description box, okay? It was bad, man. It was terrible, man. Um, it says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Because we're supposed to be serving one another, you know, by keeping each other with these epistles uh, and doing the right thing, man. Doing the right thing. Not trying to be overzealous, not being trying to be over-righteous or be uh, way above the other brother. Because, hey, we're all under the mercy and grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We all fall short of that, okay? It says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay? But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Okay? Don't scatter the flock. This I say then, walk in spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right. Keep your eye on the prize, man. We're not trying to build no kingdom here. I mean, we can't even do that anyway. This is Esau's kingdom. We're waiting patiently on Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah, which brings me to the patient, man. The patience. Ooh, brothers, man, this was a ooh, another week, man. These, oh, sometimes it's okay, but then some, sometimes it's the worst. Patience, man. Patience of the saints. But we have to be patient, you know. I, you know, we all hasten in the day for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to come back, and it, it's beautiful to see the plagues and everything come up on the earth, and that just makes it even. <laughs> you be like, come, come on, come on. Okay, let's go to the last scripture, y'all. They want to close it out. This is Amos chapter nine, verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it off from the from off the face of the earth. But no, who who wants to build a who who wants to try to wake up all Israel and go against what the what the word, word of the Lord say in these day and time when the Lord say He's going to destroy this sinful kingdom off the face of the earth, man? See, it says, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh Shem Shai, which He's building now. He's building up the uh of the. Uh, He's building up uh, the house of David. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like a, as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's right, all the sinners. Why? Because, hey, they, 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 they're not under, they, they are, they're under the law. Well, uh, wait a minute. All the sinners of his people, because they are not under the blood. They're not washed by the blood of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because they're worshiping a false god and a false idol, so-called named Jesus Christ, number one. And then what the other what the other Israelites doing? They don't believe in the scriptures. They don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, not fully. They know they're Israelites, but then they're going, fuck off. So they're not covered by the blood. 
because they don't believe in the word. Huh? They well, got this doctrine over here. They got that doctrine over here. They got this doctrine over here. Oh, no, that's not the Passover. That started in the, in the Passover over there. No, that's not the Sabbath day. It's over there. All kind of shit. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say that evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. It says, in that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, man. And that's what's happening right now. And close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. And that's what's happening right now, man. Ask for the old past. Right? And that's what we're doing, brothers. So with that... Hope this was edifying. Hope everybody have a, uh, a shallow warm. Hope everybody have a, a, a wonderful a Sabbath, the rest of the Sabbath, and a Passover as well. Um, turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. A salutation to the hopefully elect 144. Of, of Israel, who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, Israel.